It's time to feed the beast. Hello and welcome back to the shipyard. Um, hasn't changed much. It has changed a little bit. Um, as I said on Twitter and Facebook, uh, I haven't been feeling all the best the last couple days, so uh, I didn't really do much here. Um, but I'm back-ish. Uh, <laughs> uh, I'm hoping to get some time with Stocko to... Uh, do some more filming of the co-op and uh, yeah but what we're going to do today um, is clean up a little bit here now I did I think it was today today is Friday I think today I put on Facebook I didn't I meant to uh, that one of the reasons I didn't record for the Friday video was because I had to go tree climbing and I did I went tree climbing. Um, yeah, they're perfect stacks because any time it wasn't perfect, well, it's not perfect because there's 12 more. Uh, and there's those when I decided I didn't like those. Um, I was converting the, I was taking anything that wasn't a perfect stack and I was putting it away, but apparently I stopped at some point in time. Um, that's not the only thing I was doing. Uh, Jetpack and boots. So remember we talked about this being filled and drained through grading and red power pumps. Well, I need tunnel. I need I need a storage facility underneath. So what we've done, um, this sand block is very important. It's not actually an Enderman sand block. In these side walls is where the water is going to come out. And here's where the water is going to drain in. Now, if we hop in here, it's kind of dark in here. We'll obviously have to get rid of the uh, torches before we put water in here, but here is where the water will flow into. So the water will fill up this space. Now down here, the water drains down. And yeah, I know it's going to get dark, but then it comes up and flows out. So under here is one of what will become three chambers to hold the water. Now this chamber, this first chamber, is actually pretty much done. Um, the only thing it needs is the pump and the gratings. And I figured I would go ahead and put in some grating. Now, one thing I thought about, let's see, was it this one? No. This one. One thing I thought about was at some point we might need somebody to come back here and service these. So now this is going to be a, where's the hole? There it is. Um, so there's going to be piping going up that way. So we're going to have to um, have an access point, and that's relatively easy. I'm just going to use a stone, or not a stone, an iron door in one of these if somebody needs to access this equipment. Um, and it's also walkable in there because I, I need to have extra space in case I need to run any um, wiring through there, which I will have to run wiring through. Uh, where's my hole? There's my hole. Come on. There we go. So, uh, hey, zombie, you're going to die. You're going to die. What do you got? You have a... Zombie's got a shovel. What's up? Ow. Don't hit me with your shovel. No, you can't get... Ow. Ha ha. <laughs> um, <laughs> so we, we're going to have to build some grating. So I figured I'm going to go ahead and build some grating. Uh, as soon as I... Uh, I thought I had a, a um, not a chest, a crafting table here, but apparently I didn't. So there you go. Always with the rain. All right, do I got what I need? I got what I need. Okay. So to make it great, it's relatively simple. First thing we need is iron bars. And you're going to make an inverted U of iron bars, like such. Make a couple of these. And then you take a fluid pipe. And to make a fluid pipe, pull that up for you. Make a fluid pipe, you just take brass and then glass in the middle. It gets you 16 fluid pipes. And this, I just made one set of fluid pipes because I was making sure I was doing things right. And that gets me two grates. And then these grates, we just plug in where we need them to be. 
Look at that. And there. And then from underneath, we'll have the fluid pipes that allow us to pull out. And we'll put a pump down there to pump it straight out. We're not going to build the pump because the pump is, well, pretty intensive, actually. So what we're doing here right now is I'm going to build some more grating. I'm going to put some grate there, put some grate there. I think I can actually sort of, no, I can't because I, I was going to say I can sort of seal this up, but no. Uh, but I'm going to leave one of these trap doors, probably this one, maybe, I don't know. I'm going to leave one of these traps open so that I can get down, and then I have to hollow this out. And to hollow it out, let me hop down back in here. Whee. Now you'll notice that it's uh, one, two, three, four, five, six tall, but it's exactly the right size of the, um, the area I'm dealing with. So it's six tall, whereas oh, I was going to fly up through there. I can't fly up through there anymore. Uh, there. Whereas this is only three, and it actually will never be three. There'll be a boat in here, and we will hopefully in this episode get to the boat. I'm not going to do a fast forward episode. I'm going to do a bunch of cuts. Um, it actually makes it a little bit easier for me. Um, so we're going to cut here. We'll come back when I have more grading in, and then uh, well, and then we'll work on the oop, not there, hollowing out our replica hold here to hold the water for these two and then we have to dig out this one here and then we have to talk about what we're going to do about this big wall here so we'll come back when we're ready when we've got those bits done well we're back and i have finished what i was doing so i've got grates in here in all the systems and do i have my jetpack on i do okay so i've got grates on the bottom and all of these sides are cut through and they lead into the big chambers. Now this chamber is the is a triple wide chamber. This one's going to hold the water for the the front part of the dock and the other chamber holds the water for the back side of the dock. So that part is done. So now there's actually uh, grates on the floor which is important. Now what we need to do is we need to have a control system. Um, it's all going to be run by red power <clears throat> so uh, you'll be able to turn the pumps on and off, the various pumps on and off, from a central location. So you don't have to like run around and flip all the switches or whatever. And you'll do, be able to do it from a location where you can see most but not all of the dock. Because, well, the only way to see all of it is actually to be up in the sky, I think. So I'm thinking that control should be maybe about this high. So you'd be able to see along this side of the dock, assuming the gantry crane was ever, you know, rolled back, if it could really roll back, which would be nice. Um, or I could make it higher, I guess. No, I like it over here. So I think this is going to be the location for our, um, for our control system. And the control system is also going to run the gates to open up the big gates to allow the ship to sail out into the ocean. So the first thing we have to do, we just have to cut this back so that we have a nice flat surface. We'll get rid of the dirt eventually because who wants excess dirt? And then we'll make a nice control area. Now, one of the things you have to think about is how much control do you need? Now you'd turn on the input and output pumps with a single lever. I think I can wire all of it up to a single pulse lever. And I should be able to do that. And I'm not sure. Maybe, maybe put a pulse lever there. Let me remove this. So maybe, maybe that's where the lever goes to pump it in, and that's where the lever goes to pump it out. And then I'll put glass in here to create kind of a bay window effect so you can kind of walk out and see what's going on because otherwise if I put the stone across like this you can't actually see anything because Minecraft people are short. So we'll have to create a little bay window thing going on. So we'll need two pumps, one to turn the pumps, 
the input pumps on, one to turn the output pumps on. Then we'll need another one, which I think will be this, and we'll create a, a catwalk out here to open. Oh no, I take that back. How am I going to work that? Ah, I'll have to build a computer. I'll have to build a red power computer for the, the gate. So then you'll turn around and you'll type the command in the computer and it'll open or close the, the gate. Yeah, that'll work. So the room doesn't have to be super big. It's just to be big enough to uh, accommodate our little peeps. I do think a little like watch area here kind of sticking out a little bit so that they can uh, see a ship coming in or out and make sure it's clear before they turn and they type into their computer again to close the gate. That would be important as well. I mean this could do it but I think this would look good because you could see a ship coming in. Um, over here, put that there. I think, yeah, I think having something here so that they could observe and make sure everything is clear. Yeah, yes, yes. So, do I want to put a column up here maybe? Oop, I ran out of stone. Oh well. Um, yeah, because then the glass can be there, glass can be there, glass is there. Good. And then we just go, and there's gonna there'll be a door somewhere in here to allow them to get access and climb up to their control tower. Not there though. <laughs> and there maybe. I don't like the uh, there. <clears throat> don't like that hanging like that. So we'll create a way to get to get up there into the control tower and see what's going on. Yeah. I think oop. Uh oh. <laughs> I think that'll look good. Nice nice and easy. Yeah. So let me let me hollow this out and then uh, uh oh. Ooh, I found ore. Pause for the ore. It's like taking a pause for the cause, right? There. There. I do know that there's coal right there, actually. I do know. I just choose not to get it. <laughs> there. There. Uh oh, I'm in the water again. There. <laughs> Alright, so let me go and do this. I need to throw a bunch of sand in to create the glass. And this is going to have to go away because we're going to put in our um, blacksmith shop. And I decided I was going to do the blacksmith shop out of basalt because if you think about it, you know, the blacksmith shop is going to be, you know, a lot of, of open flame and so it'll easily stain the, the walls and everything. So we need to do that. And I also decided that this wall here needs to be cut back slightly because right now it's so close to this crane I, I feel like it's a danger to the crane. So I think we have to move this back because if we look at the other side right around here to the other side we've got three units before we hit a building. So if we consider that as well over here. Right now we have one and I'm willing to deal with two but I'm not willing to deal with one. So I have to cut this whole wall back by one. I might not do that all um, on this episode. I might I might do it off screen because I mean it's really really boring. <laughs> um, it's more like something you do when you just need to zen out. But um, yeah. So I will be back when we have the control tower more complete and we have this sort of cleaned out. So uh, we'll be back shortly. Well, I figured I'd go ahead and do this on screen, this, this bay window thing I'm creating because it's kind of a unique thing. I've done it before. Um, it's just such a pain with the jetpack because um, it doesn't hover quite a oh, bugger quite like the um, the rings do in um, with Tekkit. Go away glass. So it's just a 
complex process to create the the bay window. I actually want to step it out. So and then we'll just go boop boop like that. And then that <laughs> in the way now. There. So now let's fly out here. What did I get screwed up? Nope, I think that's good. There. So you have this like bay window thing coming out of the side of the building. And then to give it some some uh, a look of strength, I just oh <laughs> wrong button. Use this to kind of bring that out and create the feel of it's connected because otherwise it looks disconnected from the it just looks like glass hanging in space we don't want glass just hanging in space because it might fall and hurt somebody <laughs> all right and then we come over here there so now when seen from back here it's a giant bit of glass but when we're inside of it, we can see, well, that bugger all. That needs to move. And that. There. So when we're inside of it, we can see what's going on in the ship bay. Look at that. I mean, it's not perfect, but I don't want to remove that stone because removing that stone, I can do, let's see, can I break that without, yeah. So there, we can get a little bit closer. Yeah. Um, I don't want to remove this piece of stone here, even though it would increase the view, because it would also kind of remove the feeling of rigidity. I would also usually probably replace this with um, stone as well but I don't know if that really is what I want. Kind of feels like I'm at the CN Tower. Oh, I'm gonna fall! Anyway, uh, now we'll just kind of fly up here. We're gonna reproduce the same sort of thing over here so that this person can also have a little look out if they so desire. Like that. So, and now we have to go outside in order to finish that. Woo. And there. And this is where you don't want connected textures on while building. <laughs> it would make it kind of hard to build. Now I'm going to go, yeah, gonna go right there. Yeah. Now I don't really need to do it over here because it's actually fits into the wall, so I don't need to dope here. And then we'll just include this one just because there we go. So now we have this bay window. Let's just look out and see what's going on. And then we just need to build this one over here, but I've run out of glass. Of course I've run out of glass. And then for the roof, we're just gonna use steps. Because, again, we're looking for a, a heavy structure. This is the, the control bunker, sort of. Not really a bunker, but sort of is a bunker. There, there, and there. And then to make sure it doesn't look like it's floating in space, we just do that. Get that fallen thing. There. So now... I'll put the other glass bit on, but now we have this control facility, and there's a little bit of stairs over here, a little bit of stairs, there's a little stair. Hmm. I keep screwing that up. <laughs> there, 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 there. I might now have to put this in deeper than I wanted to. Yeah, I think I am. No, wait, no I don't. Do this, yeah. There and there. One, two, 
Booger. And three. There. And then let's put some torches so that it can lighten up. I know I'll get the coal. <laughs> there and there. So then we'll have a stick here, uh, a stick, a lever here that you can pull to remove water or add water or something. And this will do the opposite over here. And then I'll build the computer here. And the computer will control the gate and make the gate go up and down. So it's, it's going to take a while to do because it is a lot of redstone work. Or not redstone, but red wire work. And, um, yeah, but still, that's that's going to be our control facility there. I'm going to go cook up some more glass. I'm going to get that coal out of there. And then we'll work on the, um, what was that? Blacksmith shop. So we'll be back in a moment.